What is going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Yesterday the Iron Banner was released upon the Guardians of the City. Today I want to go over what is being offered inside the Iron Banner and how to best use your time to maximize the amount of reward you get. So first things being first, let's go see Lord Saladin at the back of the tower. You can see he's got a pretty sweet setup here. Big flame and iron ring, a little bit of really nice carpentry here. And uh, we're going to go talk to him. So. One of the biggest changes from last week to this week is now he sells his own bounties and you redeem them here as well, which is a, a nice thing. You actually get to come here a little bit more often. He's also got some boots and some sleeves, uh, and these can get you up to level 30. So they're as good as raid armor, but you can only have two equipped at any time. So let's check them out. I'm going to check them out for all three classes. This is the Hunter class. I really like the uh, kind of branches here. I think that's really cool looking. Uh, both of the boots are the same. And the sleeves are very cool looking with the wolves and kind of the cloth wrapped around the hand. I like that a little bit. Here I am as a warlock and we got the iron regalia boots. You can see these things are pretty nice. Again with the, uh, the tree kind of uh, painting on the knees there. And let's check out the gloves. There we go. And this has got the uh, the tree motif on the shoulder pads. I think that's actually really cool looking. Uh, next up, the Titan. Here we have the Iron Regalia Greaves. Uh, these are pretty cool. They have uh, the kind of Iron Banner stuff up on the thigh part with the wolf right here. I think those are pretty cool looking. And the gauntlets, again on the shoulder pad, have the wolves and a little bit of scroll work. I think they're really cool looking. All right, as well as all that armor, there's also a couple of new weapons that can be earned through the Iron Banner. Uh, one being Perun's Fire. Uh, it's a pretty nice little fusion rifle. It does spray and play, increase the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. And it's also got Grenadier. Kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. That should be very useful. And we got a scout rifle here, Gellion's Demise. It's got Mulligan, missing a shot, has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. And Firefly, Precision's kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. So that's a pretty cool scout rifle as well. I really like how the uh, scout rifle and the fusion rifle kind of have this Iron Banner theme to them. They're really cool looking. Uh, the next thing you want to look at is the shaders, the emblems, and the cloak or whatever class item that you have. Uh, you want to equip all of these. Each one of them that you equip is going to boost the amount of experience you get per match so that you earn your rank in uh, Iron Banner a little bit faster. Because uh, once you do, once you hit Iron Banner rank 3, you can unlock the boots. Once you hit rank 4, you can unlock the sleeves. Uh, rank 4 will also get you the fusion rifle, but you got to wait till rank 5 to get the scout rifle. There's one more thing I want to talk about, but I'm going to switch to my Titan to show it to you. Okay, I'm live back into my Titan again, and the last thing I wanted to show you is the tempering buff. So you want to buy this thing, and you want to buy it frequently. Uh, it lasts for 12 hours, and what it does is essentially give you more experience for competing in the Iron Banner uh, than you would normally get. You can also buy this over and over again. So if you just keep buying it using Boats of Light, you'll constantly be getting more experience and you'll be able to earn all this stuff faster. Uh, the nice thing about this is it only costs Glimmer and you just have to get your rank up. So we have to rank up. Uh, we're going to use uh, the emblems, we're going to use the shaders, and we're going to use the uh, the class items to earn more experience faster and then we're constantly going to be buying these buffs as well as doing the bounties. The bounties, the nice thing about the recent patch is that now you can fit more bounties in here so you can buy uh, all of these bounties and buy a few crucible bounties as well because while you're fighting in the Iron Banner, those crucible bounties work in the Iron Banner as well so you can double up on your bounties while playing the Crucible uh, in the Iron Banner. So that's really nice. Hopefully this guy, guide will help you guys out uh, as far as earning these uh, armor items and weapons faster. If you guys have any other tips, let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.